All right, happy Saturday to you all. What's going on? What's going on? What's the word on the streets? Bird. Yes, it's a beautiful day. In the streets, and I love it. Yes, yes, yes. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm blessed. Um, we just do what we do, you know? We got to make the best of whatever we go through on a daily basis and all throughout that we got to make our next move the best move so for me um i've been just really focused on things of the past because the things of the past tell us where our future is and for me I don't know about other people. I can only speak for me. I'm not a racist. Um, when I got into crypto, it's because I saw a huge opportunity to be able to tap into something that was global. I've always been the type of person to want to travel and you know travel internationally and things of that nature. And I know that there's many opportunities in places in faraway lands that we have no clue about. But when you have some of the best investors talking about particular assets, showing you what they're doing in plain sight, and if you can't see it or follow along because you can't connect the dots, then that's a problem. Or some people just disregard certain things just because it's China. It's Chinese, knowing damn well they eat Panda Express, knowing damn well they love honey nut, honey walnut chicken, all the kind of chickens that they get at Chinese restaurants. And you're gonna have the nerve to tell me you don't wanna invest in it because it's Chinese. You hypocrite. Everything is Chinese. You just don't know it. It's already been formed. China is in control, but it's the illusion that it's still the same controllers. When actually they're all playing a movie role. And we also play it, but we have the choice to either be NPCs or the AIs in the matrix, the smart ones, the ones that see what's going on. We see through the smoke and we're going to make it work for us. Now, on my journey, going back to the past, <sighs> me personally, I watch people, you know, when they say follow the money, I watch these things. I look at things from a different aspect. I see the headlines, the narratives that they create. And Jim Breyer always stood out. Check his portfolio, invested in some of the biggest companies. He's ahead of the curve. When it comes to crypto, blockchain, Web3, he only has select few assets in that area. He got rid of Ethereum. Has VeChain. Circle in his portfolio. And there's a couple other ones. Some of them are not crypto related to where, you know, you have the token that you can invest in. But he's also been seen in meetings with Xi Jinping and the vice president of China. And quietly, what's been happening since 2015, you had an asset called VeChain. Listen to what I said, 2015, ladies and gentlemen. One plus one equals two, right? So they say. But how many of us can see the additions to add when we see these, dot, these dots being connected? So you mean to tell me he dropped Ethereum, right? This is the best investor here. And I want you to take a dive in on my uh, my way of thinking. So 
they announced that he dropped Ethereum. And the only one that was in his portfolio was VeChain, right? This was a couple years back. And, you know, I noticed people, a lot of projects that we were talking about a couple years back, people are not really talking about them. They only get covered barely if there's some news about it. But see, those are the ones that you want to explore. VeChain, I don't know if people have been looking into it and had to look back into it. But I mean, this, this, this is the most, this is a chosen blockchain uh, from all of these companies across the world. It's the most prominent one and it's the most hidden one. And the price doesn't really reflect its value because it's so low. Now, just recently, VeChain became partnerships in partnership with UFC. VeChain becomes the first official layer one blockchain partner of UFC. Now, I don't know if you guys read into this and how in depth this partnership is and what it's going to do for VeChain and the UFC going forward. I just had to read. I want to just read it because it, it, it's it's kind of huge and it really made me make some some entire different moves um, within my portfolio um, just to get some more V chain. So I just want to dive into this really quickly um, because this is the type of information that people don't see. And that if you really can read and comprehend what's being written in black and white, they're showing you the future. There's particular logos that are designed in such a way that you know you should see them in perpetuity in places all over the world. V-Chain is one of those logos. They just have that forever feeling. And it makes sense because of this new partnership with the UFC. Now, me personally, this is what I, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm I'm shifting some things around because I've been doing a lot of research. I want more V chain. I want more of it because I know what the fuck is going to happen with it. And this is I hear you, brother. This is China, one of China's real chosen horses that many people are not aware of. And it does so many things related to porting the traditional side of things from the business world onto this blockchain. So uh, let's, let's dive into it. So the UFC, the world's premier mixed martial arts organization and V-Chain, the leading global, listen, the leading global sustainability focus Blockchain Foundation today announced the first of its kind long-term partnership that breaks marketing ground for both brands. VeChain will become UFC's first ever official layer one blockchain partner, providing the Blockchain Foundation with an unprecedented level of integration into key UFC assets, ranging from live events, including broadcast features and in arena promotion to original content distributed through UFC's popular digital and social channels. Through UFC's far-reaching global footprint, VeChain will have meaningful brand visibility within an estimated 900 million TV households and 175 countries that receive UFC's broadcast. That alone's put VeChain on the map continuously. When you see UFC, you will see VeChain. Now, this is where we see true adoption. And you talk about utility coming into play, which is bringing in that network effect. And it only happens when you have things like this. And you're not going to see this on these main channels. They're not going to highlight this. Why? Because they don't want you to really know about it. Now, 
It is a historical moment when VeChain, the layer one public blockchain with the most enterprise adoption, the most enterprise adoption, joins forces with the fastest growing sport to raise awareness that blockchain technology is critical in helping deliver major global objectives such as sustainability, said Sunny Lou, co-founder and CEO of VeChain. This is just the beginning of a multi-year relationship with UFC, and we really look forward to the changing the world together. VeChain is a globally recognized leader in blockchain technology, and we couldn't be happier to welcome them as an official partner, marketing partner of UFC, said Paul Asensio, UFC Senior Vice President of Global Partnerships. VeChain's expertise in using real-world blockchain applications to help the public and private sector achieve their carbon neutral goals. Remember, carbon neutral, everything carbon neutral. Is an effort we are proud to support. We're looking forward to working with VeChain to leverage UFC's worldwide popularity to promote a positive message that blockchain technology can be used to protect our environment for future generations. Now, a lot of people are out here looking for these carbon neutral assets to invest in. You know, oh, it's something different. It's something different. No, guys, this carbon neutral stuff is happening on chains that we already know about. And VeChain is one of them. Now, VeChain is a power, a pioneer of real world blockchain applications with international offices in Luxembourg, Japan, China, Singapore, France, Italy, Ireland, San Marino and the United States. Strong independent developmental capabilities combined with the professional compliance guidance of strategic partners. PricewaterhouseCooper and DNV has seen VeChain establish partnerships with many leading enterprises, including Walmart, Bayer, BMW Group, BYD Auto, LVMH, and more. The VeChain Thor public blockchain is unique in that its technologies have been adopted commercially at enterprise and government level across various industries. That's why I go back to Xi Jinping, Jim Breyer, VeChain. Their technology has the power to radically transform the global economy by greatly enhancing data transparency and security while facilitating unprecedented collaborations using trustless data enabled by blockchain. In addition, VeChain Thor is mainstreaming applications across industries ranging from sustainability, carbon management, supply chain and logistics, medicine, energy, IoT, and others. Now, just to even go a little further on how this technology is going to be utilized within the UFC, it's very interesting. So as UFC's first ever official layer one blockchain partner, VeChain will receive one of the deepest integrations within premier UFC assets of any sponsor in UFC history. First, VeChain will own UFC's official writer fighter rankings titleship, UFC's rankings powered by VeChain. This unique and new integration offers VeChain incredible visibility across live broadcasts of UFC's biggest events, its pay-per-views, as well as UFC's digital and social channels. The integration also provides VeChain with a strong association with one of the most important components of UFC matchmaking, the fighter rankings. VeChain's prominence at the UFC's live events will be reinforced with two additional high visibility activations. VeChain will have a branded presence inside UFC's world famous Octagon at all 42 UFC events annually and the 10 event Dana White's Contender Series. VeChain will also be promoted in venue at all UFC events, highlighted by frequent dynamic branding on UFC Fight Deck, the new pioneering LED decking displays that are positioned around the Octagon and enhance the spectacle of UFC events by incorporating thrilling lighting effects, graphics, animation, video, and more. In addition, UFC and VeChain will collaborate on a variety of custom and original content featuring UFC talent and athletes that will be distributed 
across UFC's popular social media channels and digital platforms, reaching nearly 200 million followers worldwide. Among other branded activations, UFC will also provide VeChain with unique access to UFC state-of-the-art facilities such as the Performance Institute and Apex to develop once-in-a-lifetime corporate activities and events. And UFC and VeChain will partner to create VIP sweepstakes promotions for fans to attend UFC's biggest events. UFC athletes will also benefit as the agreement provides for an annual brand ambassador fund that will offer significant paid marketing opportunities to participate in UFC athletes. Now, the, the branded assets for VeChain will be debuted on June 11th which already passed, at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. This, that was the pay-per-view event. Now, VeChain launched in 2015 as a private consortium. The VeChain Foundation went to develop the VeChain Thor Public Blockchain, an EVM-compatible layer, one smart contract platform adaptable to wide-ranging real-world needs. It has currently been deployed across supply chain, sustainability initiatives, carbon emission management, SDGs, the automotive sector, medicine, energy, and more. VeChain's unique two-token model ensures low stable transaction costs while an advanced proof of authority consensus mechanism guarantees high throughput, scalability, and security with minimal energy consumption. Network performance to date has resulted in zero downtime after three plus years of continuous operation. Boy, them Chinese are ahead. I keep telling you, they was doing this in 2015. We in 2022. Year of the six. And who do we know is going to rise? It's the technology, the infrastructure that's coming out of China. Now, this brings me to the Blockchain Infrastructure Alliance. And there's quite a few different members on there. Potent Blockchain. And I'm making some changes. I want more VeChain and I want more IOTEX. Because VeChain is gonna be a monster. And if you like Chinese food, like I like Chinese, VJ ain't going to have me move to China. I'm going to be so happy. I want a panda bear as a present. So y'all figure it out. No, I'm just joking. But this Blockchain Infrastructure Alliance just shows you the players that are creating the infrastructure that will run the world. We have to be attentive and make sure that we are revisiting things of the past because things are forever changing. That's why I say you, you have to continue to water your veggies, your fruits, which is your crypto. Because if you're not watering it, how much love, how much... ROI can you really get out of it? Because sometimes you can miss it by not doing certain maintenance that it called for. I'm going in on VeChain. I'm going in on some IOTEX. Of course, there's other ones on here. Me personally, I'm following the money. And I'm going to follow Jim Breyer because he hasn't missed. So always revisit the past. Stop following the narratives because there's always so much more opportunity out here than what's always presented in front of you. Just because an asset might be popular and it might be big, but your portfolio, the amount of money that you're putting into the asset 
may not really be beneficial to you in regards to bringing a real ROI, unless you just got years to wait. It may be better off going to an asset that's cheaper in price, that has the properties of a V chain, so that then you can make more money, short term, mid term, long term, and it still also set yourself up for a huge win. Because you're investing in the future that is the biggest enterprise adopted blockchain there is. The Belt and Road Initiative. Who you think is lurking behind that damn road? v -chain. I'm sure there's others to help facilitate, but it seems to me that VeChain has been that one. And you have Tron. You know how I feel about Tron. But VeChain is that one. And I know I talk about a lot of assets because there's many of them. Oh, you talk too goddamn much. Every week is a goddamn asset. This one, that one, this one, that one. Which one? Yeah. But this asset, I believe that these China assets will take off and leave Bitcoin. A lot of them are already broken away. You know what I'm saying? And of course, because of the dominance of Bitcoin, if it does go down, some of them, the assets will go, you know, they'll experience a little bit of uh, a dip in price, but not not too major from what I'm seeing on particular assets. Yeah, VeChain already had a run up. So what? But I believe that these Chinese assets are going to break away because they've already been putting in so much time within these blockchains. They've been working on it before it hit the chain. So we always have to count the time put in. That's why, you know, people look at people like me, they think, oh, it just, he, it, it's hit, this luck. Oh, it was overnight. No, this was years. Some of y'all being crypto one year, two years, think y'all got it all figured out. Don't even know nothing. You don't even know what milk smell like. But one thing for sure, two things for certain. When I got a hunch, I don't care who believes in the hunch because it will come to pass because so many assets have come to it. And these Chinese assets, it's been on my heart and on my spirit the last couple of days. And I've been showing you, listen, y'all don't take heat. It ain't my fault. It's yours. Because all I'm doing is doing what I'm led to do, which is to tell you what I'm doing. And it's up to you to follow. And, you know, sometimes, you know, of course we know, you know, and I always have to keep emphasizing this because I don't want people to think, you know, I'm not compassionate or, you know, sensitive to uh, their portfolio status. But no, I'm somebody who came from nothing. OK, <laughs> I had to build it up from the ground up. I ain't getting no handouts. Nobody gave me shit. I didn't have nobody like me telling me what to do. I had to go and learn it all by myself. So. When I see these types of things, which I already saw, we've done several pieces of content on VeChain and some great, some great information in past videos. So if you ever want to get caught up, ladies and gentlemen, there's so much value that is in that library. And you know, I, it just baffles me that people don't really watch the content that much. They miss it. And I know we got lives and stuff going on, but trust me, you can figure out 30 minutes to watch your little favorite TV show or some other bullshit, but you don't want to watch, you want to figure out what's going on with 
all these cases and this, that, and the third, and monkey pox and hoop pox, when we got to be focused on the things that are going to change the world that are actually, it's bringing in that monkey pox and all this stuff. But please believe there is another lockdown that's coming. They're already working on it. You can see them if you can see it. They're working it in the narrative. Monkey pox. I want to see what a monkey pox look like on a human. I, I can't wait to see the image they put out. Fossey already got, they're talking about he got COVID. I want you to know, another lockdown pandemic has to happen. There's no way because they want to make the shift. And this is all, even this uh, case that got overturned or overruled, whatever, um, you know, it, it's happening because they're trying to violate the privacy, right? And so once they do that, they're, they're all bringing it to a place to where they can monitor us on chain. And they want to bring in that social credit store, just like they got in China. So by doing all of these things in stages, it's leading up to where we know they want it, which is full control. Full control. They can see, hear, watch. And, you know, they're they're trying to get your information now if you're in the airports by doing that little thing called clear where they take a picture of your eyeballs and get all your shit so they can have it in a database. So when, whenever they see you on a camera, boop, 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 they got your ass. They clever with it. And they'll try to get you because, Oh, you don't want to wait in this line here. Let me get you over here to clear real quick. So you can put your soul on the blockchain and you don't even know they are doing it, but they are. V-Chain is operating all over the world in places you least expect it. And the only reason you don't know that is because you're not seeing it broadcast yet. But this partnership with the UFC and everything I just read to you, what does that tell you? I'm opening the floor. That means you can come in the conversation. Floor is open. Everybody want to talk when I'm talking, but nobody want to talk when I open the floor. Why? So, do you think that? Do you think that the uh, the the tokens on on V Chain will do just as good as V Chain will? Well, I can't speak for. The other tokens on V Chain. All I'm speaking about is V Chain. Tokens, some tokens on particular chains can be bigger than the the chain they run on. You know, it just all depends. But I don't think anything will be bigger than V Chain from what I'm seeing. That that Vim World with the uh, UFC. Say that again. Then you know they got. Yeah, Vim. I know, I, yeah, I know Vim. Yeah, that V. You think they're gonna uh be using that metaverse with with uh, with, with, with the USB because it's all on the same. I know it's on the on the same. Well, yeah. Keep in mind, they um Amanda Nunez. She just had her little metaverse thing where you can train with her. So I'm not sure if they're gonna use vim world but you know i'm sure v chain has the tech to have them have their own world copy copy can y'all hear me yes sir all right i just want to say what's up to everybody Happy Saturday. I'm actually at work. Up in this truck. Back to work getting this money so I can buy this crypto. But anyway, I missed uh, most of the meat and the potatoes of so, uh, the conversation because I'm at work. But um, from what I hear, I heard UFC and I heard V-Chain. And I am an advocate 
watcher of the UFC. So I did just see the V chain advertisement and it was mind blowing. So I was like, what? Yeah. I just wanted to throw that out there and more importantly say what's up to my family. What's up, y'all? I hope y'all have a great up, day. Brother? Right now. We got to concentrate on this road. Yeah, please do. Uh, we don't need no accidents. But it's good to hear from you, Roberto. Yeah, hey, what's up, Brandon Johnson? What up, bro? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm big on beaching. So I was reading an article a couple of days ago. Um, I forgot who wrote the article, but they had two blockchain. They looked the whole crypto space, and they saw two blockchain that had the the most prominent prominent technology. And it was V Chain and Algorand that they said that had the two like best technology. So, yep. yeah, it was uh, yeah, it was V Chain and Algorand, and they were talking highly, highly of V Chain. And, and even when Jinping, when all that was going around in China, he went into the V Chain, actually went to the where V Chain is located. Yes. They had an office in China, and he, he was actually talking good about V Chain, actually. And they don't even talk about like uh, blockchains like that in China or stuff so, like stuff like that. They had commercials about V Chain in China. Like, there's a lot of they they're big on V Chain in China, and V Chain uh, is also partnered with that one belt, one road, that one. The the what China is doing, all trying to run that whole shit all over the uh, that countryside. But but V Chain is gonna be doing some some business over there too. So V V Chain's a V Chain and V Thor. I'm big on both. So V Thor is gonna be that platform that is gonna be doing all the transactions. But you're gonna be hearing mostly V Chain, but don't sleep on V Thor. That's the that, that's the gas for V Chain. Yes. Yes. They're fully integrated. So um yeah, like I said, if you guys go to the previous videos, I mean we covered all that. You can see Xi Jinping tasting the wine that, you know. Traced by V Chain and see him eating some beef. I think it was some Wagyu. But yeah. Anybody else? Hey, uh, you be talking to the past. I've been looking into the past and I've been right now just been looking at that, uh, the, the red coin. And you brought up like the social, the social media and all this here type of stuff. What, what you think about? coins as you know as as this whole lockdown stuff gonna uh jump into and then I'll, well, all right all right well yeah let me answer that first one uh if we're talking about social coins um i think a good one that's a sleeper that's really undervalued now because of the recent dip and it's a good it's a good opportunity is uh rally what do you say Rally. 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 Okay. What's your second question? So uh, I was looking at, at the, I saw the cap. I know I don't know if y'all had put it up, but I saw they're gonna be doing uh homes now as well because I saw the car interior thing, but I also saw some online where they're gonna be doing like for for individuals when they want to go and buy a home. You know, they can basically be using the, the cap format. To, to basically look look at the the whole surroundings, you know, in that three D type atmosphere. So I was like, yeah, that cap gonna be super huge, like once everything really like pop off. Oh yeah, and it's eleven eleven, as you said that. It just turned to eleven twelve, so you was right on point, and I caught it right on time. Boom. A one and a one is eleven, right? Yeah. Indeed it is. Uh, 
thing on um, Nip. What what you think about Nim? Because they really don't talk about Nim. And yeah, that's- I was just I was just looking at Nim too. Funny you said that. Nim is a good project. It's solid. It's definitely an infrastructure uh, to asset, and uh, you know, it, it and in the price that it's at right now, uh, it's a great price. Um, I remember seeing at this price mm, like two two three years ago. Um, it's a good it's a good asset. But you know, I over if I want V Chain or Nim, I'm going Vet. Yeah, also I want Nim. I was trying to say Neo. My bad, Neo, Neo. Yeah, but you know, look at the price of Neo. Yeah, I know Neo is is, is dropped, and then the gas dropped, and then I was looking at everything on their uh in their ecosystem dropped as well. Yeah. But like, aren't they aren't they a part of the whole uh, China Road thing as well? But they just on a, on some quiet stuff because I know I mean I'm still watching that 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 Alpha Cat, but it's like it's hard, very hard to find information on. They keep they self secret, and I tried uh, what's that getting invited into the uh, their Twitter, and wow. they haven't responded in like about like two years ago. <laughs> wow. Well, um, I think uh, those are all good assets. Um, yes, Neo is definitely, you know, in bed with them. That's one of their blockchains. But you know, if if I have to say, I gotta just follow Jim Breyer. You know, oh, no. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why a lot of these big guys are. On V chain, and, and you know it's the smart guys, the guys that know that China is ahead, and the things that they're doing in China, we couldn't even conceive because we're not seeing it. Look at all of the things that we see in movies, and China is already having it. They're already getting married to digital, uh, you know, little holograms and things of that nature. Isn't it Tim Draper investing in VeChain too? Yep. And Alton about that that football. You talking about you know the whole VeChain, and then you know they in big Walmart, and then you got the Waltons buying the uh, buying that football team. You know who's to say that's not something that's going to be in the works as the of, years progress? Of course. I mean, and this goes back to your point of what you what was just said, uh, Jellison. Um, mentioned that the two blockchains, the best blockchain tech is uh, Algorand and VeChain. Algorand was just chosen by FIFA. So you're going to see that. You're going to see that adoption across across the board. I mean, we're talking about entire, uh, you know, sports leagues being ported over to the blockchain. Do you uh, do, do, do people and we're not we haven't even touched on esports yet. We just need to get let's just just lock up the traditional stuff currently, and then oh my god, I don't think y'all. This is yo, look, listen, look. <laughs> I don't know why. I just have the biggest hunch about China. With these assets. And when I get this types of feeling, I got a feeling to the night's gonna be a good, good night. I know you see the illusion, but see, I got to see past the illusion and I need to see what's in my mind's eye. And I'm seeing what's gonna bring me them billions. And I, but V Chain. Can definitely bring you them vip them billions. And another one that you know is a great asset. I'm gonna do a video on is ACH Pay. If you look at that ecosystem, boy, they the hybrid of the future gateway to all fiat and crypto. And they got all the biggest partnerships with the biggest gateways known to man right underneath your nose. Whether your nose is small, big, or medium. (laughs) 
it's all under there. Oh yeah, if you're big on IoT technology too, I would go for CPC chain. It's cheap right now too, and CPC chain is partnered with VChain. They're already using it. They're already using each other's technology. So Fast. I would, yeah, CPC chain is big. So be into IoT, CPC chain all day. Facts. Can you say that chain again? CPC. I'm going to tell you like this. I don't care. There, you, there, There's just no way that you can get this info because they don't put it out there. And a lot of these people, they're not going to really connect the dots to you and break it down because they don't want you to win. They don't. They're going to mislead you, misguide you, rape you. And throw you in the dark. And if you're scared of the dark, they don't care. They're just going to scream while you're in the dark. To scare you even more. <laughs> Listen. Listen. It's going to happen in the blink of an eye. And I'm telling you. You've been warned. You've been put on notice. There used to be mad fud about VeChain in the beginning when people could easily uh, get a node before. They were, they were spreading mad fud so people wouldn't uh, get get one of those nodes, the v, uh, the VeChain nodes. So yeah. that's why most mo that's why most people they didn't get into VeChain because they were spreading mad fud before. Well, now, them now they, they ain't got, they're not paying me my, my, on my nodes yet. So I don't know what VeChain got going on. But I ain't even worried about it. What's great is that you could stake you you're, you put by putting it in the wallet, the VeChain wallet. For anybody that doesn't know, you earn VThor, and it actually, you know, depending on how much you hold, it's a pretty good amount uh, on a daily and weekly basis. So, you know, it does add up, and um, so I think that's also a good a good benefit. Um. Hey, what's up, guys? Just. Thinking uh, real quick, you know, YouTube and UFC and VeChain, you know, one of the things that everybody in the group always talks about is being able to own your content and uh, know who looks at it. Well, if UFC goes on VeChain, people aren't going to be able to go monetize or make money by taking clips of what UFC does. Like, think how many people are on YouTube that literally just copy and repeat other people and they everybody's making that little bit of money. And if UFC is able to capitalize that on all the social platforms, like it said in that website that you're reading, bro, they're going to be able to add that revenue source. Like, okay, you want to create content and have our knockout series in the back of it. And you're good at creating content and you make a million dollars a year. Well, UFC is going to get a cut of that now and the fighters are going to get a cut. So it kind of turns into this whole NFT um, yes. user generated content. Uh, you know, if you own, you know, somebody's knockout and every time that knockout gets shown on a, on a commercial, you know, Pepsi's paying UFC, which means, but they're also paying you because you hold that NFT and it's, it's huge, man. I mean, V chain's a monster. Uh, yeah. V chain's the, actually one of the first, cryptos that you know i seen on the uh btr youtube that was like hey cryptocurrency is is a veil you know like there's so much going on behind the scenes it's not it, it's a blanket term and that's when i realized like hey there's a lot more going on here it was because of the different sectors that v chains in you know but oh yeah yeah yeah, nah, I mean, uh, everything you said is great. I like how, like I said, I always like how you, you view things. Um, it, yeah, it just goes to show you that everything will become an NFT. Everything. Look at the VeChain 2.0 that's going to come out soon. That's going to improve all the... All the scalability, transaction, fees, all of that. 
they 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 testing the 2.0 on the test net right now. So it's, it's gonna come to the main net probably in a month or two. So that's what everybody was waiting for last year. That's what the pump was for. So that it's gonna come out this year, probably by 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 the end of the year. It's gonna come out. So we'll see what that does. So here's some of the uh, industries that they're in around the world. Automotive, wine, food, clothing, agriculture, electronics, art, fresh food, luxury. What do we have a problem with going on right now with? They also got a lot of gaming getting built on their uh, ecosystem. I know you dropped modern Viking games a while ago. Mad and Viking games. Yeah, yeah, mad, <laughs> mad Viking games. And bro, that I want to play games when that comes out because it looks so cool. And I, and I, I haven't had the want to play games in ten years. You know, so triple A gaming. That's built. They're building on triple A gaming, so the graph is going to be nuts. The 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 games that are coming out. Guys, listen, you're going to want to play them. Like, I, it's, I can't explain playing a shooter game in, in VR. It's so cool. It's so different. And I thought they was really going to come and get me. So, but the key is to own the technology that we're going to be playing on. To become a founder of these games that we're going to be tapping into. To be owning yield off of the movies, off of the music, off of the games that will be played in perpetuity. I need that. And if you need to play and use some of my NFTs so you can go have fun, I want money off of that too. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the opportunity to create a Web3 business. Right now, earned on chain by minimum invested investments. It doesn't take a whole lot of money. I keep saying uh, a little bit can go a long way. But if you're on the sidelines, listening to the info, but then not making moves, like I just DCA'd last night in V Chain. Now I'm waiting. You know what I'm saying? See how things go play out, but I believe there's a shift. Everybody keeps calling for, oh, 12,000, 10,000, 12,000. I honestly believe that this is not like a natural market cycle. I believe that it was, well, I know it was manipulated. It was forced. The downturn was forced. Had they not messed with it, this thing could have been blew up. But it's forced. It was forced manipulation. So I, I don't really believe this is a real bear market. I just don't. I don't have that vibe. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like that's the narrative that they're creating so that people can buy into it. I mean, for God's sakes, they said it was a crypto winter. How long does winter last? They didn't believe. God did. I never thought I'd be somebody. God did. Ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to make this a whole drawn out conversation. I'm just bringing these things of beauty back to the forefront of your mind. And please believe gaming still will dominate. There's going to be a lot of money earned through gaming. A lot! Because these people are going to need something to do. And these ecosystems are here being built out. Already in place. Gaming guilds. Ready to shift the masses over to the guilds. And once they really find out what this all is about, that's when the shift, the paradigm shift is going to happen. Just like it did in music. When they found out that Napster was Napster and LimeWire was LimeWire, we saw the shift in the way people 
viewed music, listened to it, streamed it. It's because they had an understanding of it. They now saw what they didn't see. But when they see it, talking about these gamers, it makes all the sense in the world. And it's going to start with the opportunities and the merging of things like Epic Games and Gala Games with Grit being on board. I had to make sure it was real. I went to the Epic Game website. There it is. You know how that makes me feel as an investor? Seeing my investments going to work? I need my hoes to bring me my money on time. Sorry for the analogy. I just kind of get carried away sometimes. <laughs> but that's the reality of it. We need these assets to go to work. So we put our money to work in the best investments. Don't listen to people that we, hey, I got a secret. I already know this going to happen, but you need to put your money over here. Trust me. How long has it been out on the blockchain? It just came out, but trust me, they about to run it up. Meanwhile, they're going to run it down. Because you don't know that they don't really need to have the asset go up to make money. Time to stop getting tricked in crypto. It's time to really buckle down, get, get, get in the zone of making these real plays, having the patience to see it materialize and get rich slowly. Anyways, if nobody else has anything to add, we're going to end this conversation uh, ever so gently and ever so quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, you all be blessed. Stay tuned for more. Big things on the horizon. Always remember, investigate truth on your own terms. Terms.